Hey there YouTube, Bad Fat Panda here. I have another Let's Play for you guys. Um, today it is some more Red Dead Redemption. Uh, as you can probably tell by the artwork you are seeing on the screen. And the general theme of, like, out in the middle of nowhere. Um, this time I'm actually in Mexico. I don't know if I'm going to have another Let's Play um, before this, but I thought I would do this because it was a fun mission. Um, so, basically I, I go, go to the somewhat end of the mission, see how long it is, and then I die if I think it would be suitable for... Uh, me to commentate over it uh, while playing it. So I did and it seems to be just under uh, eight minutes. So I'm going to try and commentate it for you guys. Uh, so uh, here basically what's happened I'll give you a brief overview uh, in case I don't I don't release any content before my first couple. Uh, we are in Mexico now. I am sort of fighting for two different people. I'm fighting for the Mexican nationals and I'm fighting for uh, the rebels. Um, this is the first time I'm actually fighting with the rebels here. I don't. I think um, because we have like a, there are different outfits that you can unlock in the end game, um, and I one of them is like the rebel dice outfit. Uh, so chances are I'm going to be seeing them again. Uh, but here I'm basically just uh, sort of destroying this fort, um, and it's pretty fun. Like this is I, I found a really fun level, and actually uh, the reason I know what this fort is, uh, El Presidio, is is because. This is an awesome spot for multiplayer. Um, you can build up so big bounty. Uh, one of my friends ended up getting a 17,800 bounty, $800 bounty um, so for just sitting on a cannon and absolutely destroying people. Uh, in public matches, you have to watch out for snipers on the ridge. Uh, but for the most part, the spawns of the uh, Mexican nationals are really, really predictable. Um, they're going to spawn on the left ridge uh, over to the left of me. Um, so. I'm I'm using a couple different weapons. I, I do have some cool new weapons unlocked, um, like the Springfield rifle and fuck 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 ah fuck. Um, sorry about that, but I died. Uh, so I don't know. Um, the the storming of the gates was pretty cool, so I'm probably gonna actually leave that in there if I if I can complete this in time. I'll try and hurry up. But I uh, so I do have I do have a couple couple new weapons. Uh, the double action revolver. Uh, is really cool uh, for a pistol type thing. Uh, the weapon switching is a little bit different than a GTA game. You have this wheel and um, you, you have to uh, maneuver the wheel. You, you press it up by pressing a bumper and then you, you bring the wheel out by using the left analog stick um, while you can still move with the right. I, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably doing this the wrong way. I, basically here I'm using a sawed off shotgun and just going into close range because that's what I really like to do. And I don't really alter my playstyle um, that much, even though I'm trying not to die. Uh, it's I find this more more entertaining than most of the pistols in the game. Uh, the high power pistol um, that you get in multiplayer, I haven't unlocked it in single player yet, um, is is quite tasty. Um, but my my preference is generally how the fuck did he get up there? Jesus. So my uh, my preferences uh, as far as weapons in the game, I really like this, uh, the Springfield rifle. I haven't unlocked the bolt action rifle yet, um, but once I do, I'm probably going to be using that the rest of the game uh, because it, it has a fi faster fire rate and uh, reload time, and it has one more bullet per clip than the Springfield, um, and it still retains the one-shot headshot feel and uh, much of the same damage. So as you can see here, I'm using the incredibly awesome sawed-off shotgun and shooting Mexicans in the back as they run away. Um, <laughs> collateral! It's like using the Rangers, basically, in Modern Warfare 2. So, uh, why I'm why I'm infiltrating this this Mexican uh, fort is because I am looking for this dude. Uh, apparently, I knew this dude. He's a Mexican dude, um, and I'm looking for him. I, I'm looking for a couple different people, um, but this is the dude I think I'm I'm going to leave with with Mexico. Not sure how close I am to being finished uh, with this, but uh, let's see. Turn up the game volume on my headset. Brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy and family. Yeah, okay. So Dutch is um basically this so, gang leader uh that uh what do you do? he used to roll with, but uh after they left him for dead, I think three times, um <laughs> he he just decided to uh he didn't like that anymore and, and went back home, tried to try to live his life, and then the uh FBI dudes found him and uh decided to blackmail him so that he went back and captured these dudes. Uh, so he's looking for Williamson, this dude, I think his name is Gonzalez or something. 
Besides, I can give you a bill. In Dutch, Dutch is in Colombia. I can take. And he's probably talking bullshit right now. Like I'm, I'm on like a 99% chance that they're. Save your own skin, and now you expect me to care about. Is some bullshit going on? I've always loved you, even now. Nah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I already saw that part. Um, <laughs> I died. I killed myself at the very end uh, and reloaded a save to redo this mission. So, I knew he was going to, but, but I remember watching it for the first time and being like, dude, f fuck this, just kill him. Um, but he didn't, that's the thing, he didn't listen to me. So, now I have to kill some more people, and that's always fun. So, I, as far as Mexico goes, a lot of people have said in the reviews that Mexico is the part of the mission that it drags on. Oh, and I just completely missed that shot. Um, Mexico is the, the part in the game that drags on in single player? Uh, I, I don't think so. Um, granted, I, I may not be very far along in it, I don't know how, how much longer I have to go, but I say I shoot the legs off of his horse and probably actually killed the horse. But that's regretful, but he is um, now sort of staggering because he fell off a horse. And the physics in this game are remarkably awesome. Uh, so that's that. Um, I love how he's sort of like wilding around, and this is, I, I don't know if I, I have showed you um, a lasso thing previously to, to my uploads for this, um, but this is so much fun. Like if they were to, and this is this is my thoughts on impl uh, implementation into multiplayer, uh, I think that if they would, the lasso would work. Um, what you have to have happen is uh, a certain time limit, either a time limit or a... Uh, I, I can't think of something else that would, just like a time limit that somebody can be in the lasso. I mean, if somebody is good enough and skilled enough to get in and uh, get, get around your bullets and not die with before the time that they're in close range enough to use a lasso, and then even at that time, for you not have enough time to just shoot them with a revolver or a shotgun or something, um, you're pretty bad. And uh, it'd, be, it'd be fun to just tie them up and, and carry them around on your horse for a little bit. Um, and then they then they have like this mini game that, that gets them out of it, but that's just my thoughts on that. Uh, so now I am uh, escorting him to a jail cell. Now when I was when I first played this this mission over, I, I was sort of like wondering, um, wait, why what the fuck are they putting him in a jail cell for? But it, it turns out that uh, I'm basically waiting here uh, for the FBI dudes, um, and I hope that uh, the I hope that I get to kill him. Like I I really. I really do want a chance to kill him at some some point in this game, uh, because I don't know. I, I just feel like this game is sort of connected with me. Um, it, it's great to sort of experience this in the sense that uh, I am this badass dude who's just wandering around, not really looking for revenge, but just trying to screw unscrew up his life. It was just an excuse. We all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. A puto. Everybody wants him to kill, uh, like every, everybody he's met so far, uh, like, I, oh man, I forget the, well, William Sims basically escaped from Fort Mercer, uh, which was sort of sad, but that level, if I do upload that level, um, that, that was really fun. I like using the Gatlin gun, uh, it, just to, just to maul people down, uh, because it is, it is quite entertaining, I, I have to admit, uh, the prospect of having a machine gun in, uh, a game set this early, I, it's, uh, there were definitely machine guns out uh, before this, uh, if the game truly did take place in 1911. Uh, as I go up here to snipe some bitches, um, I don't know what I'm actually supposed to be doing now. Oh, I think they start coming in again. Um, and I'm supposed to get to this cannon right here. Uh, so I, I may I may drop off a cannon to snipe some people for you, just to show you the uh, how it works. But if you see anybody play multiplayer, uh, the sniper rifles work pretty much the same way in single player. There's no transition. Uh, you, you can't really quick. I mean, you can quick scope. Don't get me wrong. Um, but there's no like uh, visual transition between n unscoped and scoped in. Uh, it just sort of comes up like that. So this is really fun. And this is what I was talking about with the cannon and multiplayer. Um, what hap What's happening here is that I am just uh, absolutely wrecking dudes with cannon. And if you uh, get somebody in your posse to kill people uh, and bring them over to the fort while you guys are all have set up defenses. It is so much fun. Um, and so with that, uh, I, I will sort of leave you guys. I mean, I, I don't know. Um, I, I got the sense that uh, a lot of you wanted me to post uh, single player content as well as some multiplayer content. Uh, to be honest, I haven't gotten many much multiplayer content out of this yet. 
I do have uh, some stuff in free roam, and that's that's more fun um, and visually appealing to me uh, to watch. But I, I I will still try and get some uh, gang matches and such and free for alls. Uh, I won't have Modern Warfare 2 type scores, um, although there are some people in this game that I've met so far that are incredibly skilled. Um, but that's that's mostly the fact that they're using like uh, normal targeting. I, I tend to go into expert, uh, and it's a little bit more difficult. But I might just go normal just to to get some content for you guys. Um, I hope you like this. Uh, if you if you like me to continue to post Red Dead Redemption Let's Plays, uh, and I probably will until Mafia 2 comes out. I'm psyched as hell for that game. Um, and I, I forget the release date. I think it's August, actually. Um, so late summer, but still I get a chance to play before se spring semester is, uh, fall semester is in session. And peace out. Enjoy, rate, comment, subscribe, and peace out.